Hi guys, and in today's video, I will show you a subtle finding on ankle MRIs that have a funny name. So let's jump right into it. Hi, my name is Dr. Christoph Acton, and I'm a musculoskeletal radiologist. And in my YouTube channel, I teach you everything there is to know about MSK radiology. And in today's video, we will focus on ankle MRI. So we jump right into the case and see what's happening. So this is the case and this is a patient after a ankle sprain with persistent pain and we want to see what's happening. Now we're just focusing on Taylor dome and cartilage here. I'm not going to talk about the rest here. And normally the joint, the ankle joint is a quite congruent joint. So whenever we see something like this, you know, you can see these tiny dots here. It's a little bit worrying that there might be focal or at least in this case, superficial cartilage defects. Now in this case here, um, it's very subtle, but if you look a couple of months later what actually happened and let me just pull this over here and that's the new one. So this is the initial presentation of this patient and later it presented it like this and this is the same, you know, same site, same patient. So we can now see this deep focal cartilage defects here on the lateral aspect of the Taylor dome. And they're not just like focal here, like a tiny ulcer or something like that. If you scroll through from posterior to or anterior to posterior, you can see it's kind of like longitudinal scratches into the cartilage. And we can also see this on an axial. So we just go to that level about here and you can see here there these two tracks, right? And what's happening here? So what's happening here is we have some osteophytes at the anterior edge here and we can try to see them, although this is not the greatest thing to do on, on this, uh, this study. So we can see there is some irregularity here at this anterior edge. And remember, this is a 22 year old patient, so we shouldn't have too many osteophytes here. And these osteophytes here, what they are doing when you flex your ankle, basically, you know, the tailor moves forward and the, these osteophytes, they start scratching the cartilage. You don't have too much mobility in the ankle joint in terms of you going sideways or whatnot. It's not like a ball in a socket joint. It's kind of like very clear how the direction of the movement goes uh, from the tibia to the talus. So they just scratch on the surface of the tailor dome at the, mostly the same location all the time. And this is what you get. Now, why is it called tram track sign and not for example, a like a track sign or maybe even like a train sign or train track sign. So the reason is, if you think about a tram, a tram has its tracks on normal streets where cars are running and the train has, has that it's not the case with a train. So the train tracks are elevated and the tram tracks are kind of like embedded into the street so cars can run over it. So because they are going deep, it looks more like a tram track. I think that's at least the idea how I thought about this just uh, two weeks ago. I never really thought about the name before that. Yeah, that's basically what it is here. A tram track sign or it's a tram track lesion rather. And it's not to be confused with the tram track sign on the like in the lung. There is something also tram track sign called in the lung. But that's not for my channel, that's maybe for somebody else's channel. So here is an article about this and you can see it's a tram track lesion in the ankle joint and they compared arthroscopy with 3 Tesla MRI in that study from 2018 in arthroscopy, the journal. So they looked at 175 ankles and then that went to surgery. So they checked their preoperative MRI and you know they just compared whether they saw tram track lesions or not. And it was visible on MRI in 8% of cases, so it's not rare, it's quite common actually. And in arthroscopy, they were a little bit better, so they saw it in two more cases, so 9.1%. Now, one interesting finding, well, the conclusion, first of all, is quite obvious. Tram track lesions can be confidently detected on MRI with high sensitivity and specificity, so we can see that here, that's okay. And interestingly, the impingement spur grade did not correlate with the severity of the cartilage injury on the Taylor dome. So that means that the size of the anterior osteophytes were not correlating with the, you know, with the severity of the cartilage injury. So this is not like one thing. If you see a big spur, it doesn't have to have this kind of like changes. It really depends on the morphology rather, rather than the, the size of the spur. 
So if you like it, then give the video a like and also make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you generally like what I do, then you can become a member of the channel either on YouTube and there is somewhere a link to join this YouTube channel or over on Patreon and you find the link to the Patreon support page also in the comments or in the descriptions down below. And if you want to go really like deep dive and you want to have like a more personal interaction with me, then consider to join the virtual MSK fellowship program. You find more information in the video that's coming up here, I think, or at least I hope. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.